can rule the great ocean and the waters beyond. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Why were those units just dying? It said I just had a unit get wiped out, and all they did was move from there to there. What the hell just happened? Undead morale thing? Yeah, but like we hadn't even started yet. Why are you arranging your troops like a W? Uh, Bertree, the ones with the orange bars are ranged, and I wanted them to be able to attack. So it's a, it's a formation that allows these guys to shoot in the melee to kind of guard them without being in the way of their shots. See? So fragile. Take hands on the way. Can almost do the bombardment again. And he can take on a squad or two on his own because of the regen. I right, got one more bombardment. So you did this fight because uh, you didn't want to lose a unit and you still lost a unit? I did, and it was really weird, too. I mean, you saw it. It was quite strange. Alright, so at this point, I am going to try to drag it out just to uh, get some more healing done.
Yeah, that one group just, like, flat out dying right at the beginning without getting hit at all. And they were full health, too. It wasn't like some low health unit lost morale and then fell apart. It was like a full health unit just suddenly crumbled. And I was just... I was extremely confused as to why or how that happened. Alright. Did what healing I could. Hang on, I'm gonna turn my fan on. Actually, I don't even see, like, a lost unit here. What the heck? Did I lose something? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. We'll find out on the next screen for sure. I, it says I didn't lose anything. What was that random unit? Did it give me a unit that it goes, Oh wait, you're not supposed to have this. Then it took it away, and then that's why it looks so weird. Uh, all right. Let's sack it. All bones on deck. And then occupy. And okay, it takes a little bit of that cost to rebuild it. Because we've got the raised dead thing, I don't need a building to make the undead pirates. I just it's not required. Okay, these are actually going to be on the water, so I'll, the, I'll have the option to make them um, the ones that can, uh, what's it called? Like black market things on the side. Okay, so we got a bit of gold. Domination. Let's get um, more replenishment for now. And more replenishment here also. Gun guy, let's get training so we get more XP. Did Tim level up? Tim is not leveled up anymore. Okay. Dang it, Tim, aren't you learning? Pay attention. All right. Uh All right, what about this city? This one we, we the control of this area is going down, and if it keeps going down, that means that we're going to have to come back here cuz it's going to spawn um those other armies. My powers devour more. Uh I actually wonder if it would have been best after capturing the city to go into the water. It might have been faster to boat around the corner there. Okay. And we're not near those two treasure maps. Could get the control thing. I don't think it's necessary yet. I can wait a bit longer. And he is not yet eligible for any offices. Alright. Yeah, no idea what was going on with that one minion I lost. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Ugh. Oh yeah, I keep wanting to look at those depth guards. Uh, I forgot. Keep wanting to check those out. Faction destroyed, cult of excess. Sound like some slanesh thing. Uh, okay. Depth guard, here we go. Alright, so let's compare them to like a normal dude. Their stats are way higher. Alright, yeah, they're armored, they're anti-infantry, they're aquatic. Uh, okay. Oh, they have frenzy too, that's cool. Do the others have frenzy? No, the others do not have frenzy. Alright. Red Fleet Command. Fear 
Eagle Gate. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's like the, uh, the gates at, um, Can Cantha. Not Cantha, sorry, <laughs> Cathay. <laughs> Wrong Asian-themed section of a game. What? It said I wasn't going to lose anything before Tim got there, and now that Tim's there, it's like, you're gonna have losses. You are... you suck. You suck. God, it's too early. Alright, that's fine. We're just gonna have to shoot him in the face. Tim is apparently really bad. Yeah, Tim is dragging the team down. Tim showed up, and suddenly I'm gonna have losses. But I want Tim to get experience. Uh, that's the reason we're paying his salary. Is uh, so he gets that daily XP. Alright. Wow, this is awful for people with guns. Alright, we could start over here, and then try to, like, move into this clearing as soon as the, f the battle starts. Okay, so just to try to um, rehash what I was trying to explain to Birdtree earlier, the idea behind this formation is that you do this, right? And actually, hold on, I'm gonna change this slightly. I'm gonna stack these. This is like a chevron formation. Uh, I totally got this from the internet, I didn't invent this. But it makes it to where I notice these guys, no friendlies are in their way. So they can shoot, and if the enemy comes at you, there's still a good chance they'll hit the melee lines. And if you have to, you can back these guys up a little bit, and then they can shoot like this at the dudes that are clashing with your melee line. And then this group can slide back here and shoot that group. So, seems pretty good. But uh, if you're playing a faction that just uses, like, archers, which their shots arc, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're playing someone with guns, it's actually more challenging to um, get them set up because of the need for direct line of sight. Now, like, the Necrofex Colossus, for example, the big ship zombie robot it is so tall it can essentially shoot over the guys on the ground so it can be wherever with this army because the stuff the other stuff is too short all right this guy is kind of an extra here and then we've got the bats all All right, so start battle. We're gonna tilt this, and then we're going to move out here. And I'll just speed it up. Cause that dude's just slow. Just do it the Skaven way. Skaven use formations too if they're using the guns. Unless, it, but yeah, if you're using their guns. Uh, if you mean, like, if you're using Globadiers or something, and you're just, like, hitting it for enemy and ally both, then, yeah, that's different. Yeah, these bats, when you've got the game on high speed, look like they're having a seizure. Wait, uh, oh, we gotta get to the crest of that hill. Hold on a sec. Advantage of firing at me from the size or engage his flanking bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Boom. That was a bit of damage. the Colossus shoot at that. These guys are not yet in line of sight, unfortunately. 
These guys are firing, so I won't move them. These guys can wrap around a little bit. Dude, okay, he can't get out. Fine, just hit whatever's next to you. He got stuck. Powerful melee unit, no mass. Is it Necrofex so clock already? Day joy. Apparently. Uh... This fight is not going well. There's, their archers are so much better for this terrain. This sucks. Last bombardment I've got. Count is slowly killing all of these spearmen. getting very low health. Oh, this thing can fire while moving. Today I learned. Also, Valvolos, thank you again for the resub if I haven't said it already. Appreciate that. Can he get over? Uh, this, these guys need morale. They need leadership. Let me try to get over here in time. Okay, I got bats hitting those, so I can pull these dudes back. Good afternoon, Mug people. Hey, Smashy. There we go. Okay. So... Dragging this out to throw some more heals around if I can. All 
Okay, and... Can these guys be healed more? Oh, we did what we could there. Yeah, their health's going up. Okay. Now, I think of the different Vampire Coast people, this is the only one that starts with Vampire Healing Magic. So I think this is the only one that can do the strat that I'm currently doing, where I'm dragging out the battle to get more uh, health back. Uh, from level 1, anyway. Bats actually did uh, 7,000 damage from picking off runners. That's why I like having one high-speed units. Those bats are faster than anything that the Dwarven <laughs> freaking army has. <laughs> you deserve to entertain me endlessly fast few months since I discovered you. Aw, oh, thank you. Skaven way, best way. Shugo, in my single-player Clan Pestilence campaign, I'm nearing turn 100, and I still haven't gotten the short-term victory- the short victory condition. I own all of the South American-shaped continent in that playthrough, though. All right, this is where it gets weird. Do I establish pirate coves, or do I occupy it? Or do I raise it and rebuild it? I don't know. I don't know. What's the short condition of that lord? You have to defeat a bunch of enemies, but one of the enemies is like basically in North America, and you start near the southern tip of South America, and uh, I, I've... <laughs> I'll, I'll send you some screenshots later. I, I've been going, like, all over the world. Occupy and use heroes for the coves. Hmm. Okay. And control... All bones on deck. Okay, he An leveled up. And bloodthirsty minion. Uh, let's get him the XP per turn and we'll get hunger next. Count Noctilus reigns. Let's get our last point of replenishment. Uh, let's get missile resistance on this guy. 100% of the damage he took in the last battle. Yeah, there's some good replenishment now, look at that. This isn't the god's victory. It's mine. All right, uh, let's get one more cheap unit. We got a full stack now. Another victory. Secure at least one province before you go cove. Well, I've got two. I mean, you start with a province here, and then I've got this whole province, and then I guess we're we're approaching our third province if we're counting the uh, the starter. If we're not counting the starter. I'm close to getting my second. Uh, alright. So, let's upgrade the Maelstrom. Thinking I should possibly... I'm considering destroying the... this thing. In order to make the control building here, because the control is dropping. And I'm nowhere near that. Wait, where'd that treasure go that was out here? Did uh, the enemy get it? I wonder if some other player got it. There's treasure over there, too. All will Alright. Uh, reduced upkeep of army. Blood and blunder. We'll make it to where... Bones on deck. It basically will pay for itself over time. Uh, he still doesn't qualify as any of that. Still got the control right if I need it. All right. Uh, oh, diplomacy. Can I offer you? Oh, I should have tried to do this earlier. Should have tried to do this earlier. 
Our dread king. On a quick deal, non-aggression pact. Try not to bore me. It won't end well. Ah, dang. Uh, do you play on holding the island or going elsewhere? I'm not sure. I'm right now. Um, I'm just following the opponents that I started at war with. I'm just pursuing them right now. So I do not know. Heroes can create the coves without the need to declare war, same as cults. Uh, my understanding is a very specific hero can create the cove, and I don't have any of that hero yet. I wonder if there's a cooldown on it. Because, like, for example, the Skaven hero that makes the Undercity, it's like a 15 turn com uh, cooldown. Uh, let's see. Ahoy there, we've come across an enemy encampment devoid of life and littered with corpses. Half-devoured bodies are scattered about the clearing. Fallen dead were elite riflemen. Surely one among them will be of use to us, or perhaps we should seek out the creature that caused this massacre. Raise a Gunnery White or the Morngul Haunter? Uh, I already have a Gunnery White, so let's get the other thing. You are horrifying. Okie dokie. What do you do? Um, he's already got regen in melee. Chilling aura. Enemies are slower near him. Scavenge. He's just melee line. Magical attacks. Alright, so he's, ju he's just a pretty powerful uh, melee boy. Alright, so he spawned down here, so it's going to take him a few turns to reach us. Count Noctilus reigns. Spill their blood. Oh my. All right. Uh. I siege. Utter annihilation. And bring Tim over. Oh, there's wolves here now. That might be better than the bats. Uh, well, they're weak against armor. Well, bats are also weak against armor. Hmm. Explodey ones are fun. Yeah, during the few turns I played of this off stream, I this guy, this is just one big dude, one big fat guy. But when he's about to die, he explodes like a million damage, and it can kill your own troops too. I actually had one awful thing happen where I autoed a fight and it said I lost him. And then Raise Dead brought him back with one hit point. And the start of the next fight, I, it started and he went, he was at one health. And because he was at uh, what, like sub 25%, he instantly exploded right when we were like starting the battle and took out like a bunch of my own troops. And I was like, this is so stupid. Uh, so kind of afraid to use that again. Yeah, he's basically a kamikaze that you, you buy. And uh, unless you're really lucky, it's a one-time use. Uh, all right. Valiant defeat. We'll see about that. Uh, do, I don't have regen on Tim yet. I wish I did. Alright, save game. This is going to be probably pretty challenging. See what we're dealing with here. <laughs> 